Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, we are going to install and config the 3G modem on OpenWRT. For this video, I have the Sierra's AirPrice MCA705 and it has the mini PCIe connector. And then we will need a mini PCIe 2 USB adapter with the SIM card slot. Next, we will need the IPEX female SMA connector. This will be used to connect the modem to the antenna. And finally, the 3G antenna. And this one is SML connector. Initially, I want to make this video on the D-Link DRA42C2. However, the design and the box of this router is not suitable to plug in the USB adapter. That's why I have to use the Raspberry Pi 4. However, if you have the USB risers or the USB attender cable, then for sure you can use it. Now let's install everything and power on the router. We will start with the 3G modem, put it in. For the SIM card, we will need to press it down a little bit and then slide the SIM card in. After that, the cable for the antenna. and then plug them into the Raspberry Pi 4. For the OpenWRT and Lucy installation, we have already a video on my channel, so you can check them out. For this video, we will start with an OpenWRT router running on the Raspberry Pi 4 with an one connection from Wi-Fi. The tutorial is based on this document from OpenWRT U3G UMTS USB dongle for your one connection. And here is some of the required packages. So first of all, the CMOGT. This is a scripting language interpreter used for exhibit the connection between the router, the modem, and the network provider. Then we will surely need this USB support for the routers and normally they are pre-installed with OpenWRT firmware. The routers will communicate with the modem via USB to zero connection. So we will need this kind of packages. All right. And then the USB mode switch. So normally when you plug in the USB modem, they will show up at the CD right where you can install some of the package or driver if you're using Windows or Mac, and that's why we need this USB mode switch to switch between this USB write mode and the serial port. And of course, we will surely need the Lucy Proto 3G to enable the support for Lucy, if you wish. And then for different manufacturers of the USB dongle, we will need a different package. For example, the Sierra's MCA705, we will need this Sierra USB wireless. For, and then like for the Motorola or the Qualcomm, we will need a different one. And we will surely need this one as well. All right. So let's try and install all of the package that we need. I have already run this OPKG update, so we don't need to run it. And then let's run this command. So install COMGT, the K mod USB to zero. And these two will be responsible for the zero connection. So now let's try and see if we have our zero interface up and running for the 3G modem. So let's try LSA and then DEV. And we still don't have the interface up and running. So DSMG mass. 
So there are some of the update, all right, but uh, there are no information for the Sierra. So we will need this package as we have discussed before. So opkg install. Let's run it. All right, let's try again. Perfect. So now we see that Sierra USB modem converter detected. The router had detect the USB modem. So now we will need a packet in order to communicate with the modem and see if it is up and running or not. So for this, we will need a minicom or any of the package that you refer. So opkg install minicom and then minicom dash s. So now we need to config the zero port. And as I just show you from the virus, we have TTY USB 0 to 4. And we need to try these one by one to see which one is the correct USB 0 interface. For this USB modem, it is a TTY USB 3. All right, so press A to change the zero device. TTY USB 3, hit enter. ESC key and then save setup at default enter and then that's it so say 80 perfect we have the response which is good so let's check the signal 80 plus CSQ we have a good signal strain so we can surely know that the USB modem is up and running so now we can close Minicom by press Control A Q and then yes. So now we will need to modify our network configuration file and add in the 3G interface. So to do that, UV and then etc config network. Press the I key to switch to the insert mode. Go down here and we have an assemble file. So just copy that, right click to paste. And for the config interface, this one will be the 3G1. The portal will 3G the service for the device. We need to specify our USB to zero interface and the TTY USB 3. For the APN, in my case, this is V internet. For the pin code, we don't have it and we can leave it blank for the username and password. This network operator doesn't require a password and username, so I can just delete it. Everything looks good. So exe key and then right click to save the configuration. And then let's try to serve it and then network restart so i purposely want to show you how i do it with the command line but actually with lucy you can just go to this one and then add a new interface and do the same so click the new interface for protocol select utms and something like that and select the modem device and then the service type and the apn and the password if you have and on the advanced setting to leave it blank and on the firewall make sure it is added to the one so save and apply and the interface should be up and running right now so perfect we receive an ip address from the internet service provider in this case and let me try to stop the wwan interface which is an one connection from the Wi-Fi so stop it and right now we should reach the internet via this interface all right so let's check it I have config all right so so if you take a look you will see this uh, 3G 3G one 
and in the PPP, so the IP address and in the up and running, we have the RX and the TX rate. So let's try ping 1.1.1.1. All right, we have the response time is 60, so something like that, and in a little bit of lag, and we can see it's not stable. And let's try speed test. So while we are running, let me open the real-time graph and check if the traffic is routed to our 3 g interface. So let's run it. So this is Viettel and VNPT. So we can see that with the 3G connection, we have the speed of around like 12 Mbps download. And the same can be seen from OpenWRT dashboard from the real-time traffic monitoring. And the upload speed is around 5 Mbps. This is not a very high speed, but this is a good speed on the 3G channel. And we can use this connection for backup purposes or even load balancing. So I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. And if you want to learn more about OpenWRT on Raspberry Pi 4 or on other router, make sure you check out the Van Tech Corner tutorial page. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video.